Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and, girl, and we are Funny Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. Before we get into the reaction, I wanna say thank you for everybody who have been subscribing, guys are really amazing. And for those who have not been subscribing, who've just been watching incognito, thank you also, you guys are super amazing. Thank you for getting us to 20,000 subscribers. And I know we're gonna to get to 30 very, very soon um, with no time. But today we're gonna to do a reaction that was suggested in the comment section below. And they suggested, she suggested that we should go react to Kabi Lem's Grand Secret. So without any further ado, let's get it. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Kabi Lame is a Senegalese social media personality based in Italy. He is known for his TikTok videos, in which he silently mocks overly complicated life hack videos. As of July 2022, Lame is the most followed TikToker. He's 22 years old. MashaAllah. He's a Muslim. This took people by surprise. This was revealed when he was interviewed by the Italian fan page media some time ago. Yes, I am a Muslim, a devout Muslim. I don't know what else to say, Kabi Lame said in response to the interview. Here's a sensational one. See, Alhamdulillah, Islam comes naturally to us being born in Muslim families. Don't you dare think this is by chance. It's the Qadr. Allah has made Islam easy to us. It's given to us by our birth. Alhamdulillah. By the way, our ancestors or forefathers has made the best decision of their life to accept Islam. May Allah grant them Jannah. Ameen. Well, the sensational news is Kabi Lame is the Hafiz of the Quran. Masha Allah. Actually, Kabi Lame has moved to Italy since the age of one year, precisely the industrial city of Shivasso in northern Italy. However, at the age of 14, Lame was sent by his parents back to Senegal to study Islam more deeply. He also studied at a Quranic school near Dakar. There, he was educated to become a Hafiz of the Quran. May Allah reward his parents. Ameen. Can you imagine growing up in Italy? You go to a poor country in a school there and you become a Hafiz. This is not easy. Although it sounds like, Wallahi, Quran is the biggest and greatest blessing. May Allah make us of those who consistently recite and reflect upon the best book on the earth. His hand movements have a big role in his fame. In fact, he rarely speaks in the video he makes. Before being famous, as it is now, Kabi Lame was a factory worker in Italy. He had lost his job and his father urged Lame to find work elsewhere. There are a lot of interesting things like this about him, but I would like to speak on the fact that he memorized the Quran. How many of us are regularly memorizing it? Even if it's one ayah, the reward, Allahu Akbar. In Ramadan, the multifold reward. Have you heard of people who memorize the Quran even when they are the busiest? What's the motivation? Imagine the blessing you receive in your life when you recite, read, and reflect. Quran has not come down so that we decorate our walls and necklaces with it, but so we reflect upon it. The Noble Quran is the book that has transformed the ignorant people, the Arabs, into one of the best people ever walked this planet. It's the same book. It's in our cupboards. Once in a while, we clean it. Astaghfirullah. Do you know about a king named Aurangzeb? who memorized Qur'an when he had a lot of kingdom under him. There are a lot of inspiring stories about Qur'an memorization which motivates others. Kabi Lame has been amazing, stunning with his story. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Those who have believed and whose hearts are assured by the remembrance of Allah, unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah, hearts are assured. One of the best ways to remember Allah is by reciting the Qur'an. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us deep understanding. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. What do you think? I mean, um... First of all, well played to um, what do you call it? what's it? Kabi, Kabi Lem or something like that. 
I mean, he's, uh, he's really taking the internet to another level in terms of, in terms of um, what he does on TikTok. And, um, I mean, it's not really a shock that he's a Muslim, you know. It's not? Huh? No, it's, it's, it's not really shocking because right from the jump is from Senegal. You know, Senegal is a Muslim. Is it? Yeah, it's a Muslim uh, country. I mean, Where there's a lot Senegal? of Western. There. Huh? There, where's Senegal? Here. See here, Senegal. Oh, okay. It's like it's a Muslim country, so it's not a, it's not really a shock. So, I mean, it is uh, important for him that he's a Muslim and to other people out there who feel the need of looking at him as a you know content creator who has a lot of followers, and to top it all, he's a Muslim. Like it's wow, you know, it's a good thing, um, <clears throat> but it doesn't mean that you can't get to where you are if you're not any. I mean, you're not Christian, you're not, uh, you know, Bahar or something or um, Buddhist or whatever. I mean, you just work hard and you find yourself into a proper position to actually, even God will help you when you work so hard, you know. There's a lot of people out there who are Christians and they have millions of followers or they are rich and all the, those kind of stuff, you know. I'm just... Imagine like today. Um, anyway, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a TikToker. He doesn't do anything. I mean, he doesn't really teach um, any kind of you know um, morality or all those kind. He just makes. Uh, is it he makes? Is it jokes or he makes? I don't know. Just makes. Um fun of what people do i guess oh yeah he takes things that. literally or something like that yeah, he makes things like for example like, like there's some hacks that just don't make sense yeah some do yeah but anyway I, good for him and also that he's a, he's a muslim I mean, that's a good thing you know what do you think i was going to say um i'm glad he didn't he didn't use religion to gain followers yeah all this came after his fame because others will still find it wrong with that anyway. Um, I don't think religion had a play in his fame or anything like that. But happy for him, happy for what he believes in. I'm just, um, there's something I wanted to say. I wanted to contribute to what you were saying, but I've forgotten. Like, you, you don't have to, I mean, you can be a Christian, you can be Hindu, and still get whatever you want to get. I remember. Yeah. What I wanted to say is, sometimes when it's your time in life, yeah it's your time in life it's just that one tweet that's going to, to open doors up. for you that one tiktok that one youtube chat not youtube channel youtube video one whatever it is that you you're out there creating also given that the world that we're living in i'm not shocked that he got that fame during this pandemic period yes yeah, during the pandemic period Good because everyone him. was indoors and he was just used the in the technology wall is yeah. what I wanted to say. Is there anything else? No. Uh, if there's any videos like this, please comment them down below. We'll be more than glad to react to them. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And this is.